This module deals with global navigation satellites system. The objectives covered in this module are, first of all, we'll talk about the list of the components of GNSS or the global navigation satellite system and various GPS constellations. Then we'll talk about how these satellites are used to determine position um, and what is the uncertainty related to that position. Then we'll talk about the satellite geometry and its relation to the term called um, dilution of position. Um, then we'll talk about one way of correcting the positional accurate, uh, improving the position, positional accuracy called differential correction. And lastly, we'll talk about the optical and laser coordinate uh, mapping or surveying. So first of all, let's talk about the components of TNSS and um, what is it. Um, it an important question um, has always been there whether you are um, walking through an area or you're planning to uh, manage an area. Either way, the question is, where is it? Where is a place? And there have been many ways to describe it. The oldest way is called bounds and meets. It's a way of describing the location by listing um, the compass directions and distances um, of the boundaries. Um, for example, if I told you that the treasure map is 15 steps from the palm tree towards the mountain, so that's one way of describing uh, position or location. Then star charts were also used uh, where um, the angles made with stars were used to calculate locations on the surface of the earth. And actually during the day, sun would be used as one of the um, stars for determining location. Then um, during the most recent uh, centuries, surveys um, uh, have been a way of finding and locating positions. In this case, we have some benchmark locations, and from there we have distances and directions, and based on that we find um, locations. And nowadays, more recently, we have what we call the Global Positioning System, uh, GPS. And it's a way of finding our location using the radio signal from multiple satellites um, in space. So um, th at this point, I want to correct one of the common misconceptions. When we say that we uh, are using GPS, um, it's, an, it's a misnomer. Um, it's like... Um, saying that I am using a radio to play a song. Um, radio used to be actually called radio wave receiver because it was receiving radio waves and now we just call it radio. Um, similarly GPS is actually a GPS receiver or GNSS receiver which receives the signal from satellites and then converts that signal into a position. Um, it is not itself communicating with the satellites. It's only receiving a signal. So it's like a radio. You're basically just on the receiving end. And based on the signal that you receive on that radio device, you can determine the position of that device. So it's important to recognize that distinction. Um, so what is DNSS? Um, it's a satellite-based technology that gives precise positional information day or night and in most weather or terrain conditions. So um, it's a constellation, which means it's a group of satellites um, in multiple planes going around the Earth in space. And any device on the ground surface called a GNSS receiver or nowadays a GPS receiver can receive a signal from these satellites and in based upon the signal it can determine where is it located now in this because this is a radio transmit transmission um, line of sight is very important so if a set if we if the receiver is behind a building and it cannot see a satellite um, or is not in the line of sight of a satellite then it will not receive the signal from that satellite. These satellites are continuously broadcasting 
uh, information about their position. So there are various flavors of the uh, GNSS available. These are um, the oldest one among these is called Navstar or Navigation Signal Timing and Raging GPS, um, and this was um, commenced by USA in 1978. Later on, uh, Russia got on board, and they have a system called GLONASS. Um, more recently, European Union has also um, uh, launched its own system called Galileo uh, Positioning System. And these three are global positioning systems. So um, <clears throat> they, they, their satellites are covering the whole, uh, basically, ground surface. Now, there are a couple of regional uh, global navigation satellite systems as well. The first one is by Japan. Uh, that was started in 2010. Another one <clears throat> by China uh, called Compass Navigation Satellite System. And... Um, also more recently by India called Indian Regional Navigation Satellites uh, System. So again, these are all constellations of satellites in space and they're continuously broadcasting their signal. If you have a radio receiver that can pick up their signal, you can tune it to that uh, constellation and based upon the signals from those satellites, determine the position of that uh, radio receiver. Um, so, as I mentioned earlier, constellation is a group of stars, and in this case, a group of satellites. And for the three global systems that we have, Navstar, Galileo, and GLONASS, um, they, they are multiple planes. So, each, so in this case, we have six orbital planes, and each orbit has about four satellites. And those satellites kind of go around um, the Earth and a total of 24 satellites. And they also have one spare satellite. And the purpose of spare is if that one of those satellites goes out of commission, then the whole system doesn't um, collapse or go out of order. They can use the spare to, to fill that gap. Um, similarly, you can read about the other constellations um, um, in this slide. So there are three main components of any GNSS. Um, the first one is called the satellite component and this is uh, the constellation of satellites that are continuously broadcasting the positional data. Then we have the control segment and these are the facilities on the ground that are tracking these satellites and communicating with these satellites, analyzing their positions and making sure that they stay order and accurate in, in order and accurate and the last component is the user component and this is the radio receiver that gets the signal from the satellite um, and estimates the position for a user now um, just like any radio uh, there are certain frequencies and uh, I don't expect you to memorize this but it's it's here so that you understand the idea when you tune to your FM radio uh, on your drive to school, you can tune the frequency to get a certain channel on your radio. In a similar manner, these um, different systems are broadcasting their signals in different frequencies. And if you uh, want to receive that frequency, all you have to do is tune your receiver to that frequency and you can receive the positional information uh, from these uh, different uh, navigation systems, navigation satellite systems.